circulation there.
Hik Situ Es Paetu Kudus Atriga Patan
Coffee Echo One. Yeah. Congratulations. When all the men are killed, the women must become braves. Who's there? Don't get in my way, Rangers. I'm going to end it all. End the feud before it ends us. It's already taken everything from me. My sons, my husband, my sister who married a Topekan and her daughter too. Master Kekaba hung my men folk, and Casey James's bombs blew up my women folk, all because of pride and selfishness. Well, I'll make an end of both of them. Casey's bombs didn't pick and choose. He said he was sorry my kin got killed, but it was their fault for being related to Topekans. I say it's his fault for planting the bombs. Casey will deny it, of course, but he's the one who plants all those bombs. He says he'll stop when Kekaba stops hanging Atchison's. And Kekaba says he'll stop hanging when Casey stops bombing. And it goes on and on and on. Well, no more. He may be my leader, but he's as much of a fool as Kekaba. He'd rather have a worthless symbol in his hand than food in the bellies of his people. All the Atchison men are hanging from the Topekans' gate. We've lost a whole generation to this feud. It's long past time for the women to stop it. A prideful fool who thinks he's a king. He's letting his people starve rather than make peace. All because he thinks somebody's gotta be punished for something that weren't nothing but an accident. There are no Topekans, and no Atchison's either. Those names don't mean anything. We're all the same tribe. We all wander and work the rails. Folks just like to have an us and a them, so they can blame things on somebody other than themselves. Idiots. Why should I be? We're just another bunch of murderers just like the Topekans. Give me one good reason why. Do you think you'll be able to make peace between those fools? Or maybe you want to kill them before I do. <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. But okay, I'll stay my hand until the next Atchison or Topekan dies. If there's another death in this feud, then I'm taking heads. First Kekaba's, then Casey's, then mine. I'll be watching, Rangers.
a fascinating collection of junk. I'm ready for a fight. So, Rangers, you come to take me down? Well, <laughs> I've had a good run. Just don't expect me to go quiet. I got work to do here, and I ain't leaving till it's done. That fool Ranger came around here a few weeks back, wanted to take me in for questioning. I sent him packing, just like I'll do it to you. Huh? Ain't it obvious? I'm Casey James, security chief. Damn right I am. And until this war with them Topekans is over, I ain't going nowhere. I'll turn myself in when the fighting's done, but not before. I'm a security chief, ain't I? I provide protection against them real thieves and them Topekans, and he provides me with a yurt to stay in. Maybe not the best price I've ever charged, but you just watch your step, whippersnapper. I'll earn every penny. You're standing it, and I hate these goddamn hippie teepees. Still, I beat sleeping out in the dust with them, uh, lizards. That's right. Knew I'd scare them off sooner or later. Tales of the chisel wreck terror in the hearts of weaker men. Yeah, you know, for all my countless crimes, so I bet you rangers have a file on me a mile thick. I'm Adian Bamacitabo, known as the Chisel. You must heard of me, I'm the last of the hard men, you savvy? Why do they call me the Chisel? <laughs> Everybody knows why they call me the Chisel. It's because I, because I, <laughs> well, what do you know? I, I forgot why they call me that. Too many to name, crimes, misdemeanors, rude things. You calling me soft? <laughs> I've shot men for less, a lot less. And good riddance, coppers. The Rangers. My heroes! Thanks for saving Ralphie and disarming that bomb. You guys are heroes. See ya! The Rangers! My heroes!
the Rangers, my heroes. The Rangers, my heroes. I smell hidden death. Who are you working for, Rangers? My scout said you rangers took out the rail thieves. Guessing you did it on orders from the Topekans, but I'm obliged anyway. Rangers, didn't expect that. Thank John Henry for small favors, I suppose. Why don't you take this little baby as a sign of my thanks? I was saving it for a special Topekan, but you'll make better use of it, I bet. Of course I've got gunpowder. We use it to blow up rocks when we're laying track. The people with money, maybe. Well, we Atchinsons may be poorer than dirt, but we can still fight. Remember that, Rangers, the next time you take orders from your Topekan masters. Yeah, we'll see. At least with them gone, we can get back to fighting this war proper. Huh. You Rangers are comedians, truly. The Topekans have destroyed us. Killed our brothers, stolen our most sacred relic, robbed us of our livelihood, and driven us into the waste where we're easy prey for the rail thieves. Are those problem enough? Look where we're living. You think we like it here? We used to live in the main camp with the Topekans. They were our friends. Now we're in the weeds with that goddamn rail thieves between us and our rightful home. And it's no good telling us to move somewhere else. Working on the railroad is all we know. We're not going to let that asshole Kekaba force us to change our ways. That one-armed bandit, he couldn't stand that the peons who laid the rails got an equal share from the rail trade. The greedy bastard wanted it all for himself. Huh. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't wreck engine number nine on purpose, just to have a reason to rob us of our half and keep the golden spike for himself. Before the Topekans betrayed us, those rails were in perfect shape, and they will be again once they stop killing us and give back our spike, but not before. The Topekans wrecked engine number nine, their first train, because they didn't maintain its brakes. Then they accused us of sabotaging the rails and stole our golden spike, saying we weren't worthy of it. Well, we couldn't let that go unanswered, so we stole a part from old 97. And now there are no trains running, which means no trade, no money, and no food. We're living on dirt here. Lord knows we've tried to make peace, but they just won't listen to reason. Absolutely I do. But they'll have to give our spike back, share the wealth, and stop killing us. I don't see any other way. Who said we weren't killing anybody? It's the wrath of John Henry that's killing them, not us. And all they have to do is appease him and give us back the spike. They can end this endless war any time they want. I do want it to end. You think I want my girl Jessie to be fighting Topekans when she's my age? But it ain't us that keeps it going, it's them. We could have the train ready to roll in an hour if they stopped killing us and gave us back the spike. All we'd have to do is give back their brake shoe, lay a few rails, and pound a few spikes, and old 97 could roll out today. But they ain't gonna do the right thing, so it ain't gonna happen. J Jesse was playing around near that bomb? I... I... Oh, great John Henry. What kind of monster has this wall made me into? I nearly killed my own. Rangers, if it wasn't for you, I... I would be blowing my brains out right now. I owe you my life. My daughter's life. Whatever you want, I'll do it. Just name it. I... I... All right, you win. This war's done nothing but kill children on both sides. I don't know why I couldn't see it until my own daughter was threatened, but... Well, go tell Kekaba I'm done killing and ready to bargain. Have them meet us at the entrance to our camp and we'll hash this out. We'll bring the brake shoe and fix the rails in exchange for the spike and half the profits from the rail trade. But the spike must return to us. That is not negotiable. We can't both have it. Are you saying we should use the golden spike to repair the rails? Make it the final act that gets our train going again? Like some kind of symbolism? Ha! <laughs> I like it. Particularly since it'll be in our rails and not in their station house. Okay, Rangers. If you can get Kekaba to agree to that, along with the rest of it, then we have a deal. 
Yes, I made the bombs. John Henry, have mercy on me. How else are we supposed to fight the Topekans? You've seen our camp. We have no men left to meet them face to face. Just kids and broken old fools like myself. And I am a fool. God, Jesse, how can I ever... The gold spike was given to the Atchison's by the hammer god himself, John Henry. It's a symbol of our long years of working on the railroad all the live long day. Those Topekans stole it. They stole everything. You think John Henry is their god? The Topekans drive trains. They don't lay track. Why would they worship a god who pounds spikes into railroad ties? Well, I'll tell you why. Because their god is embarrassing. Who wants to worship Choo Choo Charlie? Who wants a train whistle as their holy relic? John Henry is cool. So is a golden spike. So they took them both and kicked us out. That spike is ours by right. There will be no peace until we get it back. I kid you not. The world's most famous engineer is some kid from a box of candy. That's who the Atchinsons worshipped until they stole our god. You didn't see the corpses hanging from the Topekans gate? You didn't see all the women walking around here with no men at their sides? Well, we don't take that kind of thing lying down. Every time the Topekans lynch an Atchison, well, let's just say we believe in an eye for an eye around here. Damn fools never learn, though. The Topekans think they're the gods of the railway and we're just their slaves. Well, they might run the trains, but we Atchinsons lay the tracks and keep them in shape. And we ought to get our share of the profit from all the rail trade. That's what this is all really about. Blaming us for wrecking the train? That's just Kekima trying to justify not giving us our share. Well, we're not going to take it. Atchison women have always worked side by side with Atchison men. Now they fight side by side with them. But the Topekans only hang our menfolk. They're saving the women for something else. Engine number nine. It's dead and buried in the desert just outside the camp. A monument to the stubbornness and stupidity of the Topekans. Might not be polite, but the sooner you're gone, the better. Thank you. 
Another visit, Rangers? Why have you returned? Thank you, Rangers. But we'll take care of this on our own. Choppers, we have a drug dealer in one of the abandoned rail cars. You know what to do. Thank you, Rangers. Now we can continue our righteous war with those damned Atchisons unbothered. A small token of gratitude is yours. Did I not tell you to stay out of our affairs? Well, what's done is done. What exactly are his terms? You mean, use the Golden Spike as a final symbolic act that gets our train going again? I... I... Damn it, yes. That is a John Henry solution, if I ever heard one. But the rest of it... He hasn't conceded a thing. He gets everything he wants, and I still have one arm and can't drive my train. Give me one good reason why I should change my mind when he has not changed his. I want an end to this war as badly as Casey James does, but it seems all the sacrifice is on our side. I am not prepared to make peace unless he gives up something too. It is true. Ending our feud with the Atchisons would allow us to trade again. But why should those murderers share in the profits after all they've done? You think reminding me of the wreck the Atchisons caused, the wreck that cost me my arm, will make me change my mind? I should kill you for this insult. I... But... But no. You are right. We Topekans have learned a sad truth in this war. We cannot ride the rails alone. We need the Atchisons just as they need us. But the debt in blood. I don't see how Casey James can ever spill enough to repay it. I'm afraid I... Huh? No. Wait. I know what to do. All right, Rangers. Go to Casey at the entrance to the Atchison camp and tell him this. If, in addition to returning the brake shoe and repairing the rails, he is willing to lose his left arm, then I am willing to give the Atchisons half our profits and welcome them back into our camp. But the Golden Spike stays with us. That is- I will be there shortly with the Golden Spike, ready to deal. But if this is some kind of trick, I'll pound that spike through his heart. Choppers! Bring me the Golden Spike. Go, Rangers, and may you speak with silver tongues. Lose my left arm? Is he insane? I... No. I... I'll do it. After all that I've done, what's the loss of an arm? I deserve worse than that. Tell him we have a deal. Do we have a deal? Good. Then let us finish it. Ready to drive in the spike? Your arm first. For the good of both our tribes, I... I'm ready. Ah! As a sign of renewed brotherhood, here's the brick shoe. Now the spike. 
for the good of both our tribes. I'll give my people the good news. I'm glad it's over. So am I. Let's get to work. Yeah. 